welcome back to another episode of 99% of players are playing Call of Duty wrong. If you're not familiar with this series, what this is, is that I basically show you guys my rush routes. I show you guys the spawns and how to rotate around the map, as well as a few strategies. As I'm explaining stuff, I'm going to be including a few short clips so that you guys can get more of a visual of what I mean when I'm explaining these things. If you do want this series to continue, definitely smash that like button, guys, so we can continue and I will definitely bring on more content and more maps so typically when i'm spawning on this side of the map i like to push right over here we're gonna go in through the garage and we don't necessarily need to pre-aim yet because the game hasn't really started yet but i like to pre-aim over here and take out a few enemies if there are any enemies then i'm going to push into here and pre-aim before i get into this door because sometimes enemies will be running towards here so you want to take those guys out if it's clear i'll peek over here there's definitely going to be people standing over here so you really got to creep up these stairs and pre-aim and get ready after this part has been clear you're going to rotate over here and again you're going to pre-aim down that line of sight because there could be enemies trying to rush over here all right, then we're going to make our way into their spawn. Now, this is where the strategy begins. We're going to use this as our cover. All right, we're going to be pre-aiming over here, and we're going to be keeping an eye on that kill feed. When you see enemies dying on the kill feed, that is your cue to be even more alert of the spawn, which is right here. This is where all of the enemies are going to be running down these stairs, and you're going to be able to get some easy kills. So let's say we got a couple kills, they're on to you, you know, you're getting a little overwhelmed. You want to pre-aim over here as well because they might be trying to flank you in that doorway. You want to back up, you go into here, swim in this little uh, lake area and pre-aim into here as well. So right now at this point, the enemies are thinking that you're still behind that bush over there. But no, you're over here and you're going to be taking out easy kills right here because enemies are going to be running past on this line of sight, which is going to be so easy. <laughs> Now, they're still going to be wondering like, whoa, how did he end up over there? So that's the whole point here. We're trying to outsmart. You're going to get a couple kills and you're going to try to distract them further. You're going to back up and you're going to go over here as well and pre-aim at that line of sight. You're not going to push completely just yet. And then you're going to rotate between these two right here. So you're going to pre-aim right here, then come back into here and pre-aim and then rotate back. You know, like I said, do not stay in one spot for too long. Then we're going to rotate back over here. Again, we're going to go back to our original spot and then take them out again from this angle. So as you can see here, we're just going to outsmart, get a couple kills, move on from location to location, rinse and repeat. So if you want to do a little bit more of a reserve strategy, let's say that the enemy team is pushing farther into the building. So again, we're going to be over here. We're going to pre-aim. We're going to pre-aim down here because we're going to be taking out some enemies that might be standing over there. Depending on how many teammates you have with you, you may or may not be able to push in here because there could be enemies head glitching that stairs right there and enemies just camping in the corner here as well. So you really got to be cautious and pre-aim down this line of sight. Remember, make sure you have teammates that are at least with you or behind you. That way you don't get flanked. And then we're going to rotate. We're not going to push just yet. We're going to pre-aim over here. There's nothing. So this is what I really like to do. Since all of them really like to come up these stairs, I'll pre-aim down here and take out enemies here and get those easy kills. Get those stragglers that are running across here. Take them out from that window. Pre-aim. And then another thing you can do is rotate to further confuse the enemy of where you're at is pre-aim right here and use this head glitch to your advantage and take out more enemies that are spawning in. Of course, they're also going to be pushing here as well if they're trying to take you out. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled and keep an eye on that kill feed as well. Standing by the target. Standing by. 
this is how you would rotate and use a strategy on this half of the map all right now let's say we're spawning on this end of the map i'm always going to be rushing left all right then we're going to get closer here we're going to pre-aim over here because you know there could be enemies that are going to be rushing this part of the map right here uh, such as myself just like i showed you before this is where i will rush okay if there's nothing I'm going to pre-aim into here just to make sure. Take out some enemies that are going to be here and pre-aim over here. Then we're going to go around and flank. We're going to go head towards their spawn. Of course, when we approach this area, we want to pre-aim that doorway right there. So this is where you're going to get the majority of your kills. You're going to come down these stairs, and this is where you're going to hang out. You're not going to push any further than this point right here. So you're going to pre-aim, and the enemies should be walking in through here, which will make for easy kills. Then we're going to move on, and we're going to rotate. We're going to pre-aim starting over here because this is where they're going to be spawning in from and you're going to take out enemies that are going to be running into the building from here then things are going to get overwhelming again so we're going to back up we're going to reverse our strategy rotate and come in through here and wait for them to spawn in right here as well we have the advantage You don't want to be hanging out in this area for too long. Okay, so we're going to go around. We're going to rotate. Same thing. Pre-aim. If it's clear and you've got teammates with you, we're going to pre-aim these stairs. Pre-aim right here. And this is where you're going to be able to get another angle of where they're spawning in from. Don't worry about this railing here. It is possible to shoot enemies through this railing. So we're going to try to keep them at bay at that doorway right there. If they're over here, you want to pre-aim these stairs as well because there could be enemies that are going to be coming in through these uh, stairs uh, from the side that you don't see so always pay attention to all these points of entry all right so this is my favorite thing to do i'm gonna hop down okay and i'm gonna get a different angle this time they're not gonna expect me coming from here i'm gonna take them out from this doorway again i'm not gonna push any further than this because i don't want to put myself in a bad position and get killed so this is where i'm gonna get my kills right okay then i'm gonna retreat get some kills come up these stairs and do the same exact thing and just get get kills from different angles you want to keep outsmarting the enemy see you IV standing by All right, so let me show you guys a cool little flanking strategy. Let's say you're not able to push that deep into their spawn with the strategies that I showed you. That's what Hacienda is mostly about is a standoff gunfight. Our whole team's going to be here and their whole team's going to be on that half of the map. So that would make it a little bit more difficult to get kills because most of the time they're camping and using these head glitches. So instead of just pushing and trying your luck, uh, what I like to do is I like to come down here and I will push, right? And then I will come up here and get the easy kills and flanks as well. Taking the lead. All right, now one final thing that you can do is push down here. Let's say that there's a standoff gunfight between your team and the enemy we're gonna go down here we're gonna pre-aim we're gonna keep an eye on that kill feed if there's no activity on the kill feed that is a green light that you're able to push here further okay and take out the enemy team and flank them from behind this should be the easiest flank that you could ever get and then you can transition it into the strategies that i just showed you all right you guys so that's it for today's video i hope you guys found it helpful this is my strategy for hacienda if you guys did like what you see make sure you drop a like support the video subscribe if you're new turn on notifications and i will see you guys in the next video peace hey guys i just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member and if you are 
are interested in joining, there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you. Remember, this is not required by any means, and I appreciate all the support, whether you're a member or not. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.